Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an Android app review. Um, and more generally speaking, the app is also available for iOS, so I'll, um, for the sake of simplicity, say it's a similar environment on the iOS side. Um, there's also, or this app is also available on the web, so if you want to uh, do the same thing on a web, in a web browser, then that's also available. Um, so if you're like me, I want to make sure, or find ways to improve my memory, cognition, thinking speed, reflexes, and things like that. I know they say that video games have a tendency to, or can potentially help with that, but since I don't really play too many video games, I don't really have much time for it, um, especially ones that require a lot of reaction and things like that, I decided to see if there was a good app um, that I could use on my mobile device to help me out with that. Um, so I did a quick set of search in the Google Play Store. I think it was like memory app or reflexes or something like that. And one of the first results that came up, or one of the top results that came up, was uh, an app slash service called Lumosity, which I had heard about before. So I decided that I would give it a shot and um, see if that's something that might help or something that I might like and uh, would use regularly. So I've been using it for the past couple of days now, and I actually do kind of like it. So we'll jump right into it. Um, so the idea behind the app and the service is that they give you a few different brain challenges to work on every day um, after an initial test. So when you first uh, log into the service, which you can use with a, a email or Facebook or anything like that, um, they'll basically run you through the paces and see kind of what your level is compared to other users. So they can know uh, kind of where to start you off with, which areas you may need improvement in and things like that. So you can help improve your reasoning, memory, cognition, speed, and things like that, coordination, and that sort of thing. Um, so when you do that, um, they'll start with recommended tests to use and um, help you out um, in approving various things like that. Um, so the other thing that they'll do also when you are finished setting up and finish setting up a profile is if you want to be reminded every day or not, or how often you want to be reminded to take these tests, so you have that uh, kind of flexibility to decide how often you want to run, use it. I currently have it set to uh, remind me every morning around 5 to 5.30. I forget exactly which time. Um, just so at some point during the day, I will actually take these tests and um, do it so that I remember, and not necessarily because I'll forget to do it, but just so I have the reminder sitting there. So at some point I know I have to do it. And I also have it set up in the morning. So let's say I am, uh, waking up in the morning and I'm just, I'm really close to waking up, but not quite there. Then I can take those tests as a way to start thinking and, um, uh, get the day going that way. Um, so it also has a profile. So at the moment I'm at 680 and then I have these, it has shows the various, um, um, things or points that I have set up or I, I've done already so far. So I've, um, my memory points are kind of low. So I obviously need to have more points there. Attention is also kind of low. I know, I think I was distracted when I took the test as well. So, um, it was offset there. So a little, and I know I also need a little bit of improvement there. I do sidetrack myself a lot. So, um, there's that, and then you can get the Lumosity Performance Index, which is a scale that in points that's a thing that's calculated based on your individual points. Um, once you have that going on, um, and then I'll jump into the today's uh, games for me, but your various games will um, show up based on your tests, the prior results, prior games that you played, and all of that um, different stuff. So uh, we'll give it a start. So for today, the first test is the speed test. So um, basically information processing and how I identify um, various inputs. Um, and there's a number of different games um, that show up. So you have a, no, it's not necessarily the same test over and over in different ways and different speeds and things like that. There's a variety of different tests that are mixed up for everybody. So in this game, I have to spot animals and remember the animal then tap it. So once I see it, um, or now once I see these two animals, then um, I'll tap the two that I saw. Um, that way I know that, um, the, that I'm looking at the one that um, I saw prior. And uh, you can still tap when they're uh, underwater as well, I guess. So 
Um, in this case, um, I'm going to be tapping animals that I saw on the screen as I go. So um, we'll give it a shot. And the length of the test is about a minute and a half. So as I go, I have to um, tap the various... Um, <coughs> and I guess as I uh, make mistakes, then I go uh, backwards a little bit. So um, I may or may not do as good as I hope as I talk and um, do the test at the, the same time. But... Um, um, I will move as forward, fast as, forward as much as possible, so I have to not only remember the prior animal, but the next animal as well. So, um, and then once I finish uh, each test, it'll give me a score as well, so that I can see a kind of how um, well I did, and we'll see how far I actually went as well. So I got another thirty seconds going on, so. Um, and I guess I'm not doing, uh, that great as I, um, do touch each animal. So I'll focus a little bit. But so basically, once you played the game at least once or twice, you get the general idea of it. I score 4,090 points there. Um, so in the free version, they give you three tests a day, which is not bad. But if you want to get the, um, uh, if you want more tests throughout the day, there is a um, premium version as well, which is a monthly recurring or monthly charge. Uh, they have various rates available, and you can do five games a day and also have all games unlocked. Um, so after I finish this, I'll show you kind of where the games are. But you only get a certain number of free games um, as well. So if you want to just uh, play one game at a time, then uh, you can do that as well. Um, in this game, I have to say which one is greater. So um, there may be times as well where they're equal. So... Uh, something to pay attention to there as well and they give you math questions as well so 16 15 um... I guess I did some math wrong there, but um, but basically you get the idea here where um, um, basically you're doing math problems and you need to know kind of which, um, basically you're doing some math, figure out which one's greater or if they're equal to decide if, which, if one of them is greater than equal. So kind of reasoning, analysis, quick math questions. Um, and going from there and then you get points based on um, how many you get right and you iron 7500 points on that so um, the test for um, um, that is done so I'll go to my third test of the day and they'll tell me which kind of they'll say that two tests are um, done um, so in this case so we have train of thought or attention so the purpose of this game is to direct the trains into their various station based on colors. Um, so I'll, it says pick the highlighted station to begin. So I have uh, pink and black. So as I touch or pink, black and green. So I need to direct this um, black train to the black castle. So as you can see, I can touch the dots to change the train tracks. So um, it's going to start off slow. I want the pink and the black to go all the way to the end, but I can also plan ahead. So once the black train gets past the um, track, I can adjust the train track. So I have these two pink trains now, so I can leave those as is. Um, and now I have a black train as well. So once it get the other pink one gets past the second bend, I will um, adjust the track so that uh, now these two black trains will go all the way to um, the 
uh, appropriate train station. And then once the second black train, uh, now the first one gets all the way past the bend, um, I'll adjust that so that the pink train can get to where it needs to go. Now that that black train has passed the bend, I'll um, adjust the track so um, it goes where it needs to go. And as you can see, when you start having multiple trains on the tracks, you do need a plan for the multiple dots at the, as, or the, the multiple train junctions at the same time. So now once this black train gets past the bend, I do need to adjust this track. And then once the pink train is past that, I need to adjust the track. I need to adjust this track now. Um, and I have to keep this going for as long as possible. So ideally, I, I don't want to mess up any of the trains and get them all to where I need to go. Um, so in this case, it's only three at the same three uh, houses at the same time in the test. I think there were a big number of them. So that was a little bit difficult, but it was, I guess, a test in that here's how much I can handle. And at some point I'm going to um, have to uh, build up and it's not going to be as easy once I get into larger numbers of uh, trains. But I have to do this um for as long as i can so as you can see the pink and the green train are kind of close together so i have to appropriately account for that the black train is done there so um, i'm going to direct those in this case i think i got them all right but i know earlier on my test i was actually doing a lot worse so in this case i got 6600 points and um, my test for today are um done so it's kind of a way to um, uh, train your brain to do different things. Um, so I'll hit finish workout and I I guess I get a hot streak for training three days in a row. Um, and then if you want to do more tests or you want to play different um, games, then for example, today, the only the games that I uh, played today, so the river one, um, nothing in memory. Um, and then I have attention span for the train and then problem solving. So um, based on what I've seen so far, whatever games are available for that day's test are the ones that I can play a little bit more. So if I want to go back into River Ranger, I can do that. I can go back and if I want to do my problem solving, I can do that. So if I want more training there. Um, but as you can see, there's a number of different tests for categories. So in speed, there's also Highway Hazard, which is a car racing game. Penguin Pursuit, which I don't think I played. <coughs> And some of these other ones, I'm not sure I played yet. And then in memory, there's a uh, matching games and um, uh, title treasures. I think I played that one, but I'm not sure. For attention, there's the train one, which I think is and I played that one, and the fish one where I have to feed the fish, and then as you feed them, you have to make sure I don't feed them twice. So there's that, and then flexibility. Um, I think I played the color match one where I have to match the word that the color or the color or the word for the color to the actual color below it to see if it matches or not and then with uh problem solving i think i've only done the chalkboard one i don't think i've done the other ones yet so <clears throat> there's a number of different tests and it's a very flexible um app to help with you in all those different categories so if you want to improve or just uh, get that kind of training so you're thinking out of the box a little bit more then there is that and then i can see my um uh or if you unlock a premium you can get your game strength profile planning skills speed and accuracy and all of that um in the menu you can um, unlock the uh, premium version as well straight from within the app and <coughs> um, pay for it as you go so there is a monthly plan if you want yearly you get a um special rate if you do two years and lifetime um it's a very even further rate i guess i haven't done that math on the 2.99 uh, version but um it is a, a very flexible program i will say early on it is worth checking out and i don't know how easily i'll get i hope or i'm not gonna say i'm, I'm easily gonna get bored of it but it is something that i want to do regularly just to uh, keep practicing all of that even though i don't do perfect my goal in it is to um, improve and get, gradually get better and better and better to improve, for example, my memory and attention span and um, keep track of things a little bit better. So um, in the premium ver um, area, you can see exactly what you get. So you can get five game workouts so you can do even more at a time. Uh, more Better workout recommendations, more insights. You can play all. So I guess there's more than 50 game games which, so you can get access to all of them at the same time and things like that. So 
um, definitely worth uh, pl trying and playing. Um, and then once you're done, you can keep training if you want. So as I mentioned, you can go back into it. But uh, definitely an app worth checking out. It is available for Android and iOS and also on the web. And with a premium version available as well to get even more tests. But that is all for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can find me on, or you can email me at email at, or email me at headphonesneal.yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can find this review and all reviews on the web at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And you can get all links, subscription links, and all of that good stuff on the website at PatelN01.com. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.